Hello, everybody, and welcome to the oddest damn show on the internet. That's right, Talking Mayhem Mania. Um, I'm your I'm your pal in the mainstream media, your favorite. Uh, and joining me here, the finest Mayhem Mania co-host you've ever seen under God's hot sun. Thank you, Chad the Shad. Thank you, thank you. I try my best. I hope I last week I did not disappoint you. Uh, you did not disappoint me last week until the very end when yeah. you let. That that, that 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 vengeful vigilante Larry just bully you into this Bart Gun Butterbean match that will it will never happen. I, I would never have allowed this. I, I How asked, Chad? How I, I asked for bribes and he gave me a dollar and it was it was very at the end and at that point I did not have reserves built up. I did not know I was going to be hosting. Well, you did also allow like seven rounds of moves or seven moves during one round, which is yeah, no, uh, no I, frankly more me. than I would have let. But you, you were just kind of like a Lenny guy. No, no, one, no one told me there was a strict number of rounds. And well, I play by my own rules. I play by my own rules. I know. I'm out of control. I play by my <laughs> own rules. Um, apparently, well, hey, you know what? You, you did what had to be done. And yep. um, uh, like I said, I watched last week. And, and honestly, um, you're probably better at this than I am. But, you know, I, um, for some reason, uh, Sword keeps having me back. You're so pretty good. Okay. You're, you're grand. You're grand. Yeah. I, was, I was glad to be in the shadow. Yeah, so. you did a fine job. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so let's um, quickly run down um, this le- this week's uh, moves real quick for everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go from the top of the uh, list here that we have. Uh, Bobby F. J. Town, in his continuing obsession with getting Billy Kay and Peyton Royce onto this card, has booked uh, those two against uh, uh, Ember Moon and Kyrie Sane. Indeed, Sailor Moon. Um, so, I mean... I mean, I don't know how how long do you think this match will last, and how long until Bobby puts another match with these two onto the card? Because he's just bullying this thing onto the card we'll, over and over again. It. I think this is it for him. I think that's gonna. I think it's gonna go the distance. You think this one's I gonna think stick? It got a good crowd reaction. I think it a good reaction. Yeah, I think he might have found the winning formula here. Uh, well, we'll see. Um, we'll see. We'll see. As I mentioned um, during the show, uh, we were gonna check on. Uh, uh, the gavel's move was to um, swap Killian Dane out of the uh, big beefy three-way with uh, Braun and Lashley, and he is uh, his first choice was to put Moose in there. We told him we were going to have to check on the contract status of Moose. Uh, gavel, the um, the verdict is in. And Moose signed a three-year contract with Impact Wrestling last year, uh, so I'm afraid that. Um, we can't allow you to use Moose, so we're going to have to go with your backup, Batista. Uh, just nearly as beefy and probably more marketable. But um, sorry about the, that there, Gavel. But it will be indeed Batista versus Lashley versus Braun Strowman. Um, are we going in the right direction here, do you think? We have swapped Killian Dane for Batista now in this uh, match. It's hard to tell. Yeah. They're all beefy. <laughs> well, well, it'll be up to you know what it's it, like. It's like that match should be sponsored by uh, Campbell's Chunky Soup or Oscar Myers or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, well, you know what? This is a democratic process. So if the, the match sucks, then it will be gone soon. But uh, you know what? I just want to say I thought uh, Officer Dan and the Gavel both did a great job, and they were uh, they yes. played nice, and uh, we we handed to them. Um, our uh, viewers' choice guy from last week, Kyle Turner. Um, his match last week didn't survive. So will you let him have another crack at it? This week, he made AJ Styles versus Roderick Strong versus Adam Cole. This sounds good. Yes, it does. This could After, stick. Yes, and the fact that they weren't already on the card is astonishing. I know. Astonishing. Well, so. Like I keep telling, this is like a historically deep WWE talent roster. Yeah. It's it's insane how much talent there is. And it just gets deeper every week. I mean, within the past week... They signed Mahabali Shira. I mean, how are we going to get Mahabali Shira onto this card, Chad? Any ideas? Any suggestions? Natural matchups, perhaps? There's something obvious just laying out there. I don't know. Perhaps a former world champion that would be a perfect opponent for Mahabali Shira yeah. on Mayhem Mania. I can't think of anybody off the top of my head. Maybe you could come up with something. You're much smarter than I am, after all, right? I, this must be. There's got to be somebody in like the modern day that could. Yeah, that yeah. Could That's really what I'm thinking. Like as in issue. right now. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, I'm sure it'll come. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure yeah. out. So I'm sure maybe Mad Mike will think of something too. You know, yeah. And Jeff Jarrett. I mean, come on, Jeff Jarrett. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe it didn't get used yet. Uh, hey, Fish and O'Reilly are back on the card. Hey, yes. hey Fish and O'Reilly are back. Huh? Ah, this is this this four way fish, this fish four way O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> this four way tag team match is sentenced for death. It's not going to last much longer, but that's okay. That's what happens when these <laughs> when these uh, when these matches get a little bit bloated. When people start adding too many things to these matches, uh, it reaches critical mass, and it's time to go. Uh, and finally, um, oh, you know what? You know, I, I try to keep the um, the graduation rates <laughs> for yeah. how long. You know, if a match stays on our card for three weeks without being changed in any way, it graduates and gets locked in into a super card, and it opens up a new slot, and it allows us to create another match. Yeah. Finn Balor and Aleister Black was just a couple moves away. And then uh, I think it was Officer Dan swooped in and he knocked Aleister Black off the card and put in Brock Lesnar. Nice move. Nice move. But like Danny Glover and Lethal Weapon, so close to retirement. Too old for this shit. Too old for this shit. So close. (laughs) Nine weeks, two weeks from retirement (laughs) or graduation, whatever. And uh, and so uh, back to square one for. The Finn Balor match, but hey, Finn and Brock, you think that's gonna stick? It might stick in real life if it doesn't stick in Mayhem Mania. Yeah, very, yeah, we'll very strong possibility of that I it, like it though. Would it be? Would it be Demon Finn Balor? He's gonna have to bring Demon Finn Balor to a match with Brock Lesnar, I think so. and you better pray to God he doesn't get Demon Brock Lesnar because <laughs> can you imagine anything scarier than that? Yeah, when, you know? that's when Brock Lesnar's back tattoo arches out of his back and these yeah. big bone wings come out can you imagine flies that flies around the arena and eats children it <laughs> is it is something to see he only does it he's only done it at two live events so far yeah, it was over in japan but, uh, not many yeah. people saw it yeah ask shinsuke about it yeah he'll, he'll tell you about it it was eaten whole and yeah. pooped out again that that's yeah yeah they're <laughs> iwgp buddies over there he'll tell you all about it it'll be it'll be in broken english but you'll you'll hear it you'll hear it it's, it's all about just, the emotion. Just, it doesn't really matter if you yeah, understand what they're saying. It's, it's all about mostly the emotion. just terrified screams. <laughs> either way, it's kind of like watching a Godzilla movie. Really, I mean, it's just kind yeah. of a lot of just screaming and running. So. And uh, but it's great. Really, but, you should so yeah, YouTube that right now. Yeah, Lana Demon playing. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I feel like this viewer's choice thing is working out pretty well. Yeah. So uh, yeah. we're gonna open it up again. We're gonna do another viewer's choice round next week. I have and, an uh, idea for that. Yeah, go ahead. What you got? I thought maybe some maybe uh, the view, viewers would say what they want to want to do, but instead of just a random pick, have them uh, predict some stuff for Elimination Chamber. Most predictions gets the add something on the card. Uh, okay, so Elimination Chamber is coming up on Sunday. Yep. So here's how it's going to work. All the viewers out there who are not regular in studio guests of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, you send us your prediction of. Who's going to win the Elimination Chamber and total time of the match for the tiebreaker. Winner of the Elimination Chamber, total time of the match, and then send us the move, the change you want to make to this card. Person who gets the winner, correct, it's the move. and the correct time or closest without going over. Because yeah. um, we play by prices right rules here, Sorg. We yeah. have rules. Um. They get to make the move. They'll, their move will go in. Yeah, I like that. That's a little bit of a reward dealing with we have a pay-per-view here. So uh, why not spice it up and get a winner? That's good thinking because, uh, you know, last year we did the thing with uh, the Kevin Owens-Goldberg match. And that was so much fun making everyone yeah. guess how long that match was going to go. Yeah, yeah. That was a blast. Um, so, yeah, there's a little game for all you uh, viewers out there to play. Send your guesses to Mayhem Mania at SorgatronMedia.com. That's Mayhem Mania at SorgatronMedia.com. Com. Chad, thanks. thanks. Thanks for thanks for being you. Thanks for no problem. picking up the slack for me. Thank you for watching. Thanks, Sorg, for pushing the buttons. Thank Missy for sitting next to us. Thank the gavel and Officer Dan for maintaining law and justice on the streets of Pittsburgh. And thank you for watching Talking Mayhem Mania. And uh, we'll see you around the bend. Good night. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.